Hi, Martin. Hi, Roland. Hi out there, everybody. Hello. Today we want to talk about static code analysis. Martin, what can you tell me about it? Hey, Roland. Every professional software project should be checked for code smells. So that means for source code, which could cause problems during runtime. Yes, of course, this makes sense, even if the code is syntactically correct and can be compiled. Yeah, such code check will protect the project costs and time effort against unpleasant surprises in the end. I only see one problem here. Performing such a test, such a static code analysis manually is almost impossible. I know that there are tools out there for C++, for C Sharp, and for other high-level tools. But what about IEC 611.31 applications? So first, yeah, exactly. There are tools available for high-level languages, and these tools make such a review yeah, much faster, more reliable, and more reproducible. And above all, everything happens completely automatically. And now back to your actual question. Yes, there is a tool for CodeSys applications, CodeSys Static Analysis, which is doing that work with IC 611.31.3 code, thus PLC logic. Okay, sounds interesting. Tell me more about it. Well, first, the CodeSys Static Analysis is a fully integrated plugin for the CodeSys development system. Okay, and how do I perform the code check with this tool? Now, that's pretty easy. So this is done using rules. For example, checking for the multiple writing of outputs, unused code, comments, much more. So for example, you can build rule sets yourself from a long list of rules, and you can also sort the list by different criteria, such as the importance of the rules or certain categories. And the code then is either automatically checked while typing in the currently open editor, or if you start the command by mouse click or translate the project. Okay. Sounds reasonable. Um, what about coding guidelines or naming conventions? A code static analysis also checks these, of course, if desired. Okay. And uh, the result, the analysis of the check? Well, the, the result of the check is then displayed as plain text in the message window of the CodeSys development system. And here you can even correct simple points immediately via quick fix. Okay, interesting. But I guess I can still use the F4 button in order to jump directly to the source code position and check the code there in detail. Right, that, that always works, of course. And uh, by the way, the tool also displays so-called metrics. So that means measures for the formal evaluation of software quality. A well-known metric, for example, is the McCabe metric for the complexity of building blocks. So this means I have now a really powerful tool at my fingertips in order to improve the software quality. Yeah, and the tool has even other features too. So for example, if you mark program lines, you can automatically swap them out to methods or functions with only a mouse click. I see. So this makes the code clearer and easier to understand. Yeah, yeah. especially if you think of uh, clones. So if you use clone detection to see where copy code is located in the project, so copy code means identical code that does not differ or only differs by individual variable names or literals. And this way you can then swap out such code into POUs with the help of the tool and call them easily with specific variable values. Wow, very interesting. So this really improves the application considerably. But Martin, where do I get this? Magic tool, code static analysis. Yeah, guess where? You can get it online. And uh, sure, but where? In the code uh, store. Sure. <laughs> and there you can even download and install code static analysis and the other tools of the code professional developer edition. And you can even da directly download them from the code development system. And then with only a single license, you can use five tools at once. Five tools, wow. What else is included in that bundle? So apart from the code static analysis, there is UML profiler, SVN, which is subversion, and the test manager. And yeah, as I already mentioned, with a license subscription, you can benefit from all of these tools and, of course, get the regular features and security updates, too. Very cool. So this means that with one single license, I have a huge range of functionality. I think that the price for the license will pay for itself very, very quickly. Yeah, so usually it's after just a few applications especially when you consider what an application problem on the machine or system costs in, in terms of time, money, hassle. 
So for example, during commissioning or in productive operation of a machine. And if this can be avoided, then not only the customer <laughs> will be more satisfied. Yeah, you're right. I think that even the application engineer, the programmer, will be much more happy to have such a modern and powerful tool at his fingertips during his work. Right, yeah, sure. And, and, and that's exactly why now Coates' users should actually miss this added value. Yeah, you're right. Martin, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Roland. And thank you out there for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.